You can modify the appearance of your graphical column schedules very, very easily. Let's go into the project browser and select graphical column schedule A to D. Double click on it. That takes you to that particular view. Now, I've already changed the view here to fine to make sure that we can see the columns. But if we select all of the information here in the properties palette, I've only edited the columns so far, but if we look, there's lots of different things that we can edit. So the discipline is structural at the moment, which is fine. We're in Revit structure. But as I come down here, grid appearance, I can edit that. So I can edit the grid appearance, the vertical heights. I can edit the text appearance. So at the moment, it's aerial, 2.4 millimeters high. Do I want the title text to be bold, for example, or italic and underlined? Do I want the level text to be bold or italic? I might change it to italic. Column locations, I might make those bold and italic maybe. If I OK that now, things will update. And if I zoom in now, you'll see that obviously it's a lot easier to see when you look at that. So things are underlined and so on and so forth. So if I zoom in there, you can see that's all nice and neat and tidy. So if I go back now to my sheet, GCS 001 there, and double click on it, and zoom in on that top one, you can see that that's all updated. Column locations, you can see it's all in italics and things there. This one isn't updated yet. So we go back up here into the project browser, go to the other column schedule, like so. We do the same with the settings. So we scroll down here on the properties palette, grid appearance, and we check the settings. So all of those are fine, but text appearance, we change these. So title text, we want it bold. Level text, we want italic. And column location, bold and italic. And we OK that. That will all update. Just quickly zoom in and double check. It's fine. Make sure you zoom extents by double clicking. Same with schedule A to D. Make sure that you zoom extents there. And then if you go and look at your sheet now in the project browser, so we just scroll down a little bit. There it is there. Double click it. And if we zoom in now, can you see that they've all been updated? Now, what we might need to do here is just click on the box there. That box is a little bit off. Can you see A to D? It's a little bit long. So what we might need to do is just rename these slightly. Very, very easy to do. We just come up here. And what we'll do is we'll click on here, right click, rename, and we'll change it to col SCH. So we go col like that, full stop space. And we'll just shorten these a little bit. It's very easy to do like that. So if I OK that now, watch what happens. It now sits nice and neatly. Can you see that graphical column schedule A to D? And we'll do the same with the bottom one, because I'm sure that bottom one's done the same thing. Yep, so it's actually going on to the schedule, which we don't really want to happen. So we'll do it the same with this one. Click on here, right click. We'll just rename it here. So we change it to col dot space. Keep the SCH like so, put a dot and then a space, delete the rest of the word schedule there like that, click on OK. And now they just sit much, much more neatly, graphical column schedule. Now, I think if I remember rightly, I did just change that to graph. No, I didn't. They're both the same. There you go. Graphical, graphical. Double click to zoom extents, and you've now tidied up and edited your graphical column schedules on your graphical column schedule sheet.